As you are well aware by now, the Bolsheviks did plan to plan the economy, and war communism was the first attempt at planning the economy. And we can see this in the way that nationalizations occurred, for example. So small businesses were encouraged to socialize voluntarily, but large-scale industry was considered primary and nationalizations were done by force. And this was because they uh, allowed the formation of unions and of factory committees and of the linking up of the different industries within the economy. They were the backbone of the new economy and they were where the Bolsheviks focused most of their attention. We can also see that after the Civil War ended, after hostilities ended, the nationalizations continued, and in the good times, if anything, nationalizations were ramped up. And there were, in fact, a significant number of nationalizations over the course of war communism, including 45% uh, of firms hiring labor, and 66% when you include all of those that were just heavily subsidized. And full control over the firms was the intention, but was precluded by practical matters. So it wasn't only practical matters pushing leadership into nationalizing, sometimes it was practical matters preventing them from going the full course. A significant portion of even small firms were nationalized, almost half of those employing between three and 10 workers, for example. 